Hi, everyone. My name is Dan Behrens, and I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco's IoT business unit focused on our industrial security solutions. Thank you for joining me today as we dive deeper into how we can scale visibility into industrial environments, leveraging Cisco CyberVision. Cisco CyberVision is a passive monitoring solution. We take in raw traffic and perform deep packet inspection. We actually understand or decode industrial protocols. And we use this functionality to be able to identify and pull out asset information, understand what devices are communicating to each other inside those environments, and ultimately understand what's occurring at the process level or at the operational level itself. What's unique about CyberVision is its two-tier architecture. The first component is the CyberVision Center. This is where you as a user are going to interface with the tool. Uh, this is where we're going to jump into the demo and dive into how we can leverage the RESTful API interface to pull out information or to perform tasks. Um, this is also where integrations with other solutions are going to occur. Uh, essentially, the center is where you as a user really interface with the tool itself. The other component is the CyberVision sensor. Uh, this is the piece that actually performs the deep packet inspection, actually understands or decodes industrial protocols, and it sends that the important information back up to the center in the format of what we refer to as application flow, which essentially is metadata. And it's roughly about 1% to 10% of the total traffic. Now, the sensor is actually lightweight enough to run directly on our networking equipment. So a lot of the, the portfolio that supports our application hosting or IOX functionality uh, is able to actually run the CyberVision sensor natively, which allows us to perform that deep packet inspection and gain that visibility without the need to add additional cabling or additional devices, without needing to span all that traffic back to some centralized location, allowing us to really get that full end-to-end -end visibility without compromise. So here we've gone ahead and logged into the CyberVision Center. Uh, as mentioned, this is a web-based application, so we can access it using a web browser. And I've already gone into the administration section uh, under the API section, and we're looking at the, the token uh, me mechanism here. CyberVision leverages a token-based authentication for all API calls. And so right from here, I have the ability to generate, revoke, and really manage the tokens that are used by the system. If we come over here to the documentation section, we will notice that CyberVision is leveraging a Swagger interface. And what that means is we have the ability to uh, provide documentation as far as what API calls are available, but more so I have the ability right from this interface to go ahead and try them out. Uh, so I can see exactly what the results of my calls would be, uh, which allows me to, to test out my application and understand exactly what those appropriate calls could be. Now, the other piece here, like I mentioned, is that the CyberVision Center uh, is getting information fed to it from CyberVision sensors. And so right here in the interface, we do have the ability to deploy those sensors using this, uh, this deploy Cisco device interface, which allows us to connect to a, a device, understand the resources that are available, and then push the application. However, this mechanism is one by one. Uh, I have to type in the information, click go, so to speak, uh, and then wait for the system to finish pushing the application before I can move on. For environments where you need to push tens or even hundreds of sensors all at a single time, that's where we're leveraging the API interface as well as our Ansible library to be able to, to define and deploy and push those applications at scale. So here, if we move over and take a look at our uh, some of the Ansible scripts that are available inside the system. Uh, first of all, there are two different versions of the sensor itself. Uh, there's a fully passive, so meaning it doesn't generate any traffic on the network. It simply just receives the, the, the information that comes in from the switch and does the analysis. Um, or we have the ability to have an active sensor. And as the name implies, that means that that sensor is allowed to, in fact, generate traffic to discover these resources. Now, again, CyberVision is focused on industrial environments. And so we're talking about devices that are oftentimes deployed for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, many cases don't have extremely robust IP stacks. And so being able to actually be fully passive is what most customers are looking for inside these environments. Uh, however, the active functionality does allow for the ability to find information much more quicker uh, and get a lot more detailed uh, information from these devices. So here inside our Ansible script, we first start with the inventory uh, configuration file. In this case, I've already put in a, a host. Uh, this is a, an IE3400 or industrial Ethernet switch that lives inside my environment. I've defined some of the connectivity information for this device. In this case, the collection address is how the sensor is going to communicate back to the center. Uh, I've also defined, in this case, a VLAN for that interface to live on. 
I've also created this capture interface. Again, this is where we're actually sending the traffic to the sensor for it to analyze. And I can also define a, a VLAN that's associated with that interface as well. And then again, because this is an active instance of the sensor, I can also see my ability to define an, an interface on the network to actually perform that active communication. Now, in this case, I only have a, a single uh, device defined, um, but ultimately I can define uh, hundreds or even as many devices as I have inside my environment uh, to allow me to define all these in one place and then go through and run that Ansible library and put it all in a single click, so to speak. Now, when we start looking at the actual deployment script itself, you know, some of the information that's required is going to be that, that token that we looked at on the CyberVision Center itself, uh, as well as the connection URL. So what is the address of the center itself that we're going to connect to? And then I also have to provide the actual sensor application. Uh, the sensor application is available on Cisco.com. It's downloaded as a, a PAR file, uh, which essentially just allows you to put that in a, a folder relative to, your, uh, to the Ansible script that you're going to be running. Um, and allows it to use it to, to go ahead and push that out to the to the sensor or to the platform itself. So the last piece, once I've defined those two values, that the, the deployment uh, values themselves for how I'm going to connect to the center, as well as the information for how I want to actually push or the details of how I want to configure and push the application, I then can simply come into my command line and go ahead and run the actual Ansible playbook. Now, in this case, I'm providing the actual inventory file for, in this case, that inventory active, and I'm de de defining the actual library, the bulk deployment library in this case that I'm going to be running. And once I've done that, uh, as expected, the, the Ansible script is just going to go through and run. And what's happening now is it's actually going and connecting to each one of the systems, in this case, my IE3400. It's identifying the fact that we've got the right level of resources, we've got enough storage, enough memory, all the pieces that are required to actually run the application. It's validating that that system has been set up appropriately. So in this case, IOX has been enabled and is ready to be leveraged. Um, and then it's going to connect into the center and it's going to generate the configuration for that sensor. It's going to tell the center essentially to expect that sensor to connect back in. Uh, it's going to download that information and then it's going to go ahead and start pushing that application to the sensor, to the platform itself, so that the sensor can then, can then begin to run. So with that, that was a whirlwind of information thrown at you pretty quickly. Again, the idea here really being that CyberVision has been developed at, with a RESTful API interface and with an API first type of mentality to really enable the ability to deploy at scale, to manage and monitor the system at scale, and really give you the flexibility to do things like custom reporting or custom uh, pulling out custom information from the system. So hopefully this is beneficial. Uh, please take a chance to look at developer.cisco.com and see all of the information that's up there relative to Cisco CyberVision. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the show.